This video will discuss defense as a mechanic and its formula. We will start by discussing the proper use of defensive buffs, and mechanics to be more effective in combat. The second part of the video will be way more technical, and we will discuss the formula and the procedure I used for collecting the data. Let's get started. Chapter 1, How to Use Defense Properly To make things easier to explain, I will start by introducing the concept of armor. In this game, the base damage received is calculated by subtracting the product of X and defense, from the attack damage. We will call this product armor. Don't worry about that formula for now or what X means. We will explain that later in the video. What is crucial that you understand, is that armor acts as a flat damage reduction, and that you can increase your armor by investing in the defense stat, or using a defense buff. Armor becomes more and more effective the closer its value is to the attack damage, to the point of completely nullifying it in specific scenarios. Instead, the wider the gap between attack damage and armor, the less effective defense buffs are, or flat increases to defense. Chapter 2, Armor or HV Effective Health Pool Explained what should you increase if you die too much in a particular stage? HP Armor? Should you add death buffer units? Or, instead, add HP buffer once? To be able to answer these questions, you need to understand EHP. The EHP, Effective Health Pool, is the maximum damage you can sustain in a single hit before dying. Since we explained that armor acts as a flat damage reduction from attack damage, we can define EHP as the sum of HP plus armor. As you see from the examples that I am showing you on screen, armor is more effective against small hits than big hits, and can be even more effective against multiple consecutive small hits. HP buffs and damage reduction buffs are instead useful against big hits. Understanding EHP also helps you decide which kind of healer you need in your party. Healing based on lifesteal is effective when having high armor versus multiple small hits, while instant healing performs better when recovering from big hits. And with that said, we terminate the first part of the video. Please keep watching the rest, only if you are interested in further details about the formula, other factors that alter the final damage taken, and how to measure the X factor, when you want to directly use the formula to predict the increase in EHP from your buffs or upgrades. Chapter 3, Another Look at the Formula Let's have another look at the formula and expand it. The base damage taken is calculated by subtracting the product of X and defense, from the product of the skill damage multiplier and attack power. The first thing to notice here is the wording base damage taken. Other factors affect the final damage taken, like the debuff for being below combat rating or the additional damage for elemental weakness. But all these different factors are calculated before or after the base damage taken. To avoid mixing too many topics in this video, we will discuss them in future videos. The X factor in the formula is a multiplier related to the monster and the stage. Think of it as a multiplier used by the developers, to tweak the difficulty of the stage, or the difficulty of a particular monster in that particular stage. As a guideline, each kind of unique monster in a stage has its unique X factor. So if a stage has 5 of the same monster, they will all have the same X factor. But, the same monster can have a different X factor in another stage, and if different monsters are present in the same stage, they may have different X factors, one per kind. Chapter 4, How to Determine the X Factor The easiest way to determine the X Factor, is to use a spreadsheet like Google Sheet, and record footage using screen capture software. Then go into the stage you want to measure, 
and insert in the sheet the death value of the Nikkei, and the damage they have taken from a particular mob. You need at least two Nikkeis to take damage from the same attack of the same monster. Alternatively, you can run the stage two times, removing some gear from one of your Nikkei, to have a variation in her defense. Since damage from an attack has no variation in Nikkei, if the same monster hits the same Nikkei with two different damage values, unless some buffs are active, consider them separate attacks. Then select the columns containing the defense values, and the damage received for that attack, and make a chart. Next, select scatter graph, then select show trend line, and lastly, show equation. You should now be able to identify the X factor, since it is written in the equation. Post face. You can find all the videos of this series in a dedicated playlist, so if you are interested in the following episodes, save the playlist. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.